Hi, and welcome back to the channel. Today, well, today we're going to do some deep dive inspections. We're going to start on the sage side of the uh, apiary, and we're going to work our way across and probably just get through about four hives today, and we will check on the little green nuke, but specifically we're going to check on the purple hive to see if we have solved the laying worker situation. Uh, the last thing I want to do is, is shake out another hive of bees down by the lake and see what happens. I hope they didn't kill the queen that we put in there. Fingers are crossed. Um, so in this video, we are going to either experience the thrill of victory or the agony of defeat. And I hope it's the thrill of victory. So let me get my smoker lit and we'll get going. All right, let's see what these girls are doing in here. Three middle frames are being drawn out. No, actually, this is being drawn out. Barely drawn out. Drawn out, drawn out, drawn out. Drawing, that, uh, drawing it out, drawing it out, and starting to draw it out. This box is not going to be very heavy. No, this box is very light. Okay, this box is completely and totally empty. Okay, what do we have going on in here? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, I think I'm seeing drone brood. No, 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 no. No, why? No. Why? There's a honey frame. We're starting to cap it. Okay. Okay, I am seeing drone brood in here. Why? Where's my, where's my queen? There's brood. There's brood in here. But I'm not seeing a lot of drones in the hive. Maybe that's not drone brood. Well, let's look for the queen. There's a lot of baby bees in here. And these are workers. Why? You're above the queen excluder. Why? The last time I was in here, I heard a piping queen. She was piping. Did she not find her way back to the hive? Okay. No queen on that frame. So if my queen is not on this frame, she might be gone. This is a resource frame with honey. No eggs. No eggs and no honey on this side either. Okay. Okay, so this... This stinks. Okay. Let's go down. Okay, this is a resource frame only. Oh, there is some brood. This is not good. And that is drone brood, and there are a lot of drones in here. Okay. Okay, this is turning into a bad dream. Okay, we have, we have brood all throughout this bottom box and it's spotty at best. Houston, we have a problem. And to have brood above and below the queen excluder, that means laying worker. That's the same situation I had in the other hive.
Okay, I see a laying worker. I do not have a queen in this box. check really quick to be sure but Houston we've got a problem so here's the plan the plan is, is I don't have a plan I better come up with one quick okay no queen excluder what am I going to do the chaos continues first hive nightmare this hive needs a queen this hive needs a queen this is turning into a bad situation now I know I know that we have a queen in here we saw her last week and last week she just started laying this is where our new queen lives Okay, I am going to take this out because I've got some frames from last week that were drawn out. They just had drone comb in them. That I've removed the drone comb, but the frames are still drawn. That'll be a good place for the queen to lay eggs. Okay, that's honey and eggs. Okay, so we have a laying queen in here. She's doing a good job. That's some good news. Okay, and they are drawing this out nicely because she didn't have any place to lay, so they're giving her a place to lay. I'm about to give her a big place to lay. Oops. Okay, this is a full frame of eggs. She is laying up a storm, and that is just what we need to see. Another full frame of eggs. Okay, more eggs in every available cell over here. A queen cell that's been taken apart. They've realized they've got a good queen. They don't need that any longer. We have a laying queen in here. And there she is right there okay that is good I'm going to close that up we know that we've got a good queen in this box okay so far one good hive not a lot of honey one box thought I'd be so much further ahead this year It actually seems like I'm further behind. All right, now let's go into the purple box and see whether our solution worked. I hope I don't find a dead queen or no queen in here. I want to see a thriving queen. Okay, so let me tell you what I expect to see in here. I expect to see several dead bees in here. Everything above the queen excluder has been locked in here since last week. There's no way they could bring out their dead. They couldn't go to the bathroom. They had food resources and they had ventilation. They just couldn't get out. So I expect to see quite a few dead bees on the, on the queen excluder. Now, or, or maybe even below on the hardware wire. But I'm hoping that I see our queen from the pine resource hive living down in the bottom. And I'm hoping that she's alive. If she's not down there, then I've got two hives in crisis, which wouldn't surprise me. Okay, here they come. They haven't been out in a week. A lot of worker bees in there. See a few drones, but not a lot. A lot of worker bees in there. Question is, did the laying workers stop laying? First thing I want to do is look for my queen. Because this hive has a lot of bees in it. And fortunately, right now, most of the bees in here are worker bees. I mean, on the top, I see two drones. Okay, so we have a lot of bees here. And yes, there are a lot of dead ones down on the screen. I expected to see that. Let's, uh, let's pick this off and see what we can see. Now, 
again, I expect to see a lot of dead bees on the hardware cloth because there was no way to get out of the hive. So that's where they've been putting their dead. Yeah, there were a bunch of them. Okay, so now let's see if we have a queen. Okay, that's just nothing, and I expect that to be nothing. The next one is nothing as well. Now see, all these bees in the front, I think these are bees that were back there in these upper boxes. Okay, they're drawing out new comb. That is a good sign. That is a very good sign. That means they've got a reason to draw out good comb. Let's see if we see her here. Remember, the middle three frames are the ones that we put in here. We have a lot of capped brood. Come on, Queenie, I know you're in there, honey. I know you're in there. Look at the other side again. A lot of bees on here, though. I don't know whether you can see that. A lot of bees on here. We're looking for the queen. There she is. She survived. There's our queen. Right there. There she is. I hope you can see her there. She's right there. Okay, we're putting her back in, and I am going to give her a treat. I am going to give her some frames that are drawn out. Okay, this frame is fully drawn, and this frame actually came from this hive last week. Okay, slowly, slowly, slowly. We don't want to injure our queen. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Okay, I'm going to remove this. in this. And I'm going to give them these two frames. Now these two frames had the drone brood in them and I was able to get the drone brood out and I will show you how I did that in an upcoming video, just a short one. But there we go. So now we have a queen in this hive. So the question is this. We know that she lived a week. Her pheromone is in there. The workers accept her. We know that the workers accept her because she's running around laying eggs, all is good. So here's the queen excluder. Give them this box back. Now this was the go-between box. This is the box that was between the queen excluder, which was on top of this box, and the hardware cloth, which was below it. So that was kind of no man's land. Now, Now we have this box. I wonder. Okay, I think I think I'm going to try a different approach. Okay, this box is almost empty. Not a lot of threat to the bees in there. Okay, this other box back here that has I mean it's filled with with drone comb and bees and there could still be laying workers in there. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this box and I'm going to set it back on the back bench with a cover on it. And the forging bees that are in there should leave. And they should fly back here. Any laying workers I'm expecting will just stay in that hive until they make a lot of drone comb or die out. So we're going to go ahead and close that up. I'm going to put these girls back here. Okay, so now if any of the bees from that other hive, well, if any of the bees that were in the upper chamber of this hive want to get back here, they're going to have to leave the box that's on the bench and fly back and come through the entrance and accept the queen. So we're going to go through the orange hive, and then I think, and I think we're going to do the same thing to the sage hive 
that we did here, I think we're going to take the queen from the teal box and I think we're going to move her to the bottom level of the sage hive and try to take care of that no queen situation. All right, so let's hope that we have one good hive, one great hive today. Well, I mean, the Crynock bees weren't too bad. They're in pretty good shape, but unfortunately we're missing the flow here. And so far, I don't have a whole lot of honey coming in. I did the first week, but now it looks like I've got more hive problems than I have nectar coming in. And I tell you what, if they don't bring in a lot of nectar, there's not going to be a harvest this year because my goal this year is to let the bees each keep a box of their own honey all winter long and me not take it. Hi, right, girls. Okay, this is a full box on top. So this box of honey is the second full one we have today. But we're going to leave it on the hive. Unless they have more than one full box. Holy moly. Oh, yeah, that's full. Okay, this one, this one they're filling. Good girls, good girls. Now below here, below here we have the hog half comb, and I'm hoping they're filling that up. They're going to harvest that this year. And they haven't even begun to, well, they're drawing it out a little bit. Not taking to it like I hope they would. There's nothing, nothing fancy going on in there. All right. Excuse me. Okay, a nice frame of brood. Beautiful frame of brood. Beautiful frame of brood. Let's see if we can find us a queen. Oh, there she is. There's our queen. She's right there. She's not a big one, but she's a busy one. Happy, happy, happy. Okay, that is good. We know that she is right there. this back together gently. I'm going to put this frame that's barely drawn out next to her because I don't want to smash her in there. I know she's probably going to lose her place, but I've got to get these girls building these out. Okay. I'm going to squeeze that one down in there. There we go. There's this. All right, so this worked last week. Let's see if we can make it work this week. We are going to go take the queen from the pine box, pine resource hive. We're going to put her in here. Okay. Now, the foragers have some place to go. Here you go, foragers. Come on in. All right, now I'm going to go back and abscond with some pine frames, and I'm specifically going to grab the one with the queen on it, put her in here. Okay. So our queen. Okay, our queen is on this frame. I'm going to drop her right in the middle. We're going to surround her by her own bees. Shake these girls off in there. We're going to give her a whole other frame of her brood and her bees. Here we go. Right now we're going to put this on here. And we're going to do the same thing we did last week, just a little bit differently. So there's that box. 
we know that this box is filled with brood. This box is filled with brood. We are going to give them a way out this time. All right. So now any foragers that are in this hive will be able to exit the top and come back in the bottom and meet their new queen. I hope this works. Now I've given the teal side of the resource hive, they've got one full frame of nothing but eggs and a little bit of milk brood. They've got a whole bunch of their own bees left in there so they should be able to make a new queen. So I'm not too worried about that. The Crynoch bees are good, the purple hive, the orange hive, and now this hive. This hive is the one we have to watch now because we're in the same situation this week as we were last week with the purple hive. But it looks like it's working out. Queen, she's in there doing her business. Let's hope that this queen does her business. And let me tell you, this queen is a layer. So we'll see what happens there. We're almost out of memory stick here. But we really should go look at the little green nuke. So let's go look at the little green nuke. Okay, let's cross our fingers and hope that we have a queen. Here's some, some honey for you to munch on. Yum, 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 yum. So the question is this, do we feel lucky? And let's see here. No queen there. No queen, no eggs there. All right, what do we have here? Okay, okay, that queen cell is chewed out. Both of those queen cells are chewed out. This is a good sign. All those little, there's a lot of baby bees, little blondies. Boy, those cells are empty, empty, empty. Okay. 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 And on here, I see a drone. Another drone. Several drones. All right, no queen. Wah, wah, wah. Okay. You know what that means? It means we are going to grab yet another frame of eggs from another hive. What hive? What hive? What hive? From the Navy hive. Be right back. Okay. Here you go, girls. Okay, we just put a frame with some eggs in this hive. All right, so the adventure continues with the little green hive. This little green nuke now has another frame of eggs, and this time the eggs came from the Navy hive. They are not from Juno. So let's close this up. And I think we're done. All right, well, there you go. We managed to experienced some victory and some defeat. The purple hive from last week that I was worried about, well, it looks like it's going to be okay. And the sage hive that I heard a piping queen just a few weeks back is now a laying worker situation the same as the purple hive was. What are you gonna do? But I'm hoping that the same solution works. We robbed the queen and some frames from the resource hive, moved it over, and we are doing the same thing to the sage hive that we did to the purple hive, and hopefully things will work out okay. We also managed to grab a frame of bees, well, a frame of eggs from the navy hive and put them in with the little green nuke. And that, it looks like, is our project for the summer, trying to get the little green nuke <laughs> to live. Other than that, things are looking good. We don't have a lot of honey, not as much as I thought that we were going to have. I may not even do a harvest this year, and I thought this year I was going to score a bunch of honey, but it looks like that may just not happen because 
the purple hive has had issues, the sage hive has had issues, neither, neither one of them have a lot of honey in them. The orange hive has some honey, and the crinoch bees have some honey, so two with, two without. Hopefully the other side of the bee yard, my, my, my older hives are going to do a little bit better. With all that said, I hope you like this video. If you did, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up. If you have something to say, by all means, please comment. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell to be notified of my new content. It's free and we deliver it every Friday. And I hope you come along for our adventures. With all that said, I hope you tune in next week. We'll see what happens. You have a great day and I'll see you next time. Be happy.